The best thing about club kit is that when we're discussing the uh, problems or the needs of a club, it makes it easier for us to identify things that we can help with and it gives us resources that are easily accessible to do that. And some of the issues that people may have uh, would be around the accessing funding. Often we'll have a club that either can't develop because of lack of funds or one that may be folding because of, uh, of lack of funds and uh, many volunteers are just not aware of what's available to them. And, and then um, on finding out what's needed to make funding applications and that sort of thing through using the club kit, often they become aware then that they have other things that need to be done uh, in terms of their structure and financial management. And um, it can be really overwhelming, but when the club kit is there to break it down into small things and to show small steps that can be made to achieve those things with our guidance as well, uh, we've been able to uh, save a, a one club in particular that was folding and we've been able to help uh, two new junior clubs establish themselves this year and they've both been able to access funding which they just didn't even know was available before. Where we have found it most often used at club level in Auckland is where uh, clubs are coming to us with problems, usually through our development manager, and uh, the problems that they have tend to be around volunteerism as, as a number one priority, and um, <coughs> often the workload is being not being shared by many people. Although there's demand for the game and there's people wanting to play, that is all that they want to do. Getting in there and helping the existing volunteers to break down things into job descriptions and, and smaller bits so that we can then approach people to assist uh, is really useful and using the volunteer kit from the program has really helped with that and also in the setting up of new clubs we often have people coming and they just have a group of children who have become interested in the game through school or just because there are courts nearby and someone with energy will decide that they want to bring a group together formally and play on a regular basis and we will get involved um, from two angles, we'll help them to build a structure that's sustainable and we will use resources for that and also with the funding side of it.